Hiya, so next vid, so there's a question for you, which I've just revealed uh, for that example before. So let's have a look at this, have a go. let's have a look at this one now. So particle projected horizontally with a velocity of 39.2 meters per second. Find the distance from the point of projection and the speed and the direction of motion three seconds later. Right then, so what do I know then? Uh, I don't really know that much, do I? So there it is, so it's fired, it drops down. So that way is my positive direction. Uh, so it's fired at 39.2 meters per second. Right then. And I want it three seconds after the point of projection. Right, okay. So let's have a think about what information we've got then. So vertically, S, um, I don't know where, yeah, U is a zero. No, you put the wrong one in there. V, I kind of don't know yet either, do I? But I'm not going to look at that first. I'm going to look at S first. A is 9.8 and T is 3. So using S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So S is 0 times 3 plus a half. Oops. Um, 9.8 3 squared. That gives me a distance of 44.1 meters. And then let's look horizontally. So S I don't know. U is 39.2. V I don't know yet. A is 0. T is 3. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. But I know that the, that, that bit disappears. And we're calling it x equals ut, so 39.2 times 3. I get very twitchy about that again. I might have told you that in the past. 117.6 meters. So then that's my that's my position. So I've moved horizontally 117.6 meters. Now this 44.1 in the positive means I've dropped it down 44.1. So it's not 44.1 high, it's just a drop down 44.1. So now, what do I want to do? Let's do, to work out the actual distance, because I'm in the air, aren't I? I can use this information to create a little Pythagoras triangle. 117.6, 44.1, and that distance there will be my actual distance. We'll do Pythag on it, just then we're going to pause it to save time. So I've just done Pythagoras on them two numbers and them two distances. One thing I might have forgot about on the previous example was the fact that your G sorts out your accuracy. So I have a look back and make sure I did it properly. But because G is 9.8, that accuracy there is 130. So I've got the actual distance. Uh, so then I want the speed and of its motion. Right then, so I need to work out some speeds then, don't I? Um, hang on a second, let me pause it for a second, so save time. I've got a minute left to work out the speed. So let's have a look, so vertically, um, I've got my distance now, I just haven't got this. So if I use V equals U plus AT, my speed would be zero plus 9.8 times three. So my speed, Vertically, it will be um, 29.4. Horizontally, we said it was constant. Whoops, can you just, hang on, pause. So V is 39.2. I've got 30 seconds left to think of it in a triangle to work out the angle and its length. I've now got 18 seconds left to do that. Hang on, I'm going to pause it. There's my right angle triangle. I'm just going to do pi fag. I'm going to do tan alpha now. Hang on. There, in the last five seconds, I've drawn the triangle, I've worked out the speed, and I've worked out the angle. 